I am running so late today. It is ridiculous. I've got so much to do as well. I've got 400,000 litres of slurry in the cow barn there that I need to get taken over to the farmer's market and get sold. I've also got 350,000 litres of manure in the same place that I need to get taken to the same place and get sold. Uh, it's past lunchtime already, but a bit of a rough morning. Uh, but yeah, I've got to crack on. I've got so much to do. I was really hoping to try and get the Anhydrous toolbar out into the big field today. I was out in there yesterday spreading the lime, uh, so the pH values of that uh, soil seem to be pretty good. I've discovered that uh, a large patch of that new field is quite hard, silty clay. Uh, so that's going to be a bit of a bit of a heavy use when it comes to the seed, but thankfully the majority of it is uh, is loam so uh, that's going to be all right for the seed but as i say uh, yeah there's a bit of clay in that field uh spent a good couple of hours yesterday disconnecting the dribble bar off the uh, slurry tank because i'm not going to need to cart that thing around with me um but yeah as i say we're gonna have we've got a lot of backing and toing uh the planter's back on the farm that came back last week that's all fixed and they even cleaned it for me as well, which I was extremely grateful for, because cleaning these things are an absolute nightmare. Um, yeah, did cost a pretty penny in the end. Um, I won't say exactly how much, but uh, needless to say, Case were very kind, and they offered to honour, it was pretty much about 30% of the overall bill um, towards it. Um, it was still a five-figure bill, though. <laughs> Uh, and on top of that, I have also had to purchase a telehandler. Uh, one of the things that uh, had completely slipped my mind is I, a, a couple of months back, I, uh, I purchased a set of trailers uh, in one pack, in one set, essentially, from the same guy. I got uh, it's a, the three rolling trailers. I've got this grain trailer, uh, I've got the, uh, the manure spreader trailer, and I've also got a flatbed bale trailer over there in the bale shed. Uh, I got them for a decent amount of money. Uh, so I couldn't resist. Uh, they were bigger and better than the ones I previously had. Um, so I quickly got rid of mine as well. And uh, one thing that has slipped my mind is my little uh, my little case tractor over there with the front loader tools um, can't reach <laughs> into this uh, into this trailer in particular. Uh, yeah, this one's too high. So uh, I've had to uh, fork out a few quid for a second hand but new to me uh, JCB tally handlet, which was a lovely little thing from back over in the UK so I've got that over there that's going to be used to load this uh, load the trailer up with with the manure fortunately I've got the feed system at the slurry tank there so I don't need to use anything to feed the slurry tank um, but needless to say we've got a lot to do um, as I say I was hoping to get the anhydrous bar out into the big field today but uh, judging it judging by the time uh, I might not have the time to do that so that might that might need to be tomorrow's work but uh, we've got a couple of weeks left ahead of us of the planting window for beans uh, so I am very grateful that I've got the planter back so essentially all I need to do now is I need to crack on with these back and twos getting the slurry and the manure, manure out of here uh, and sold over at the farmers market I also need to take a trip over to Poet Commodities and pick up a couple, a couple of trailer loads of wet cake for my feed mix uh, load that into the silo for now because we're running quite low on that um, and that might be today's work, and then tomorrow we'll crack on first thing with the anhydrous drilling into the soil. But we'll see what time says. First things first, though. Need to go and make a couple of quid. From this manure and slurry.
There we go. That's the last of the manure. What an afternoon it has been. Two tanks of fuel in this thing. Many, many miles repeatedly back and two over to this place, but it was kind of worth it. I mean, just over 20 grand we've got from that, so considering it's just residual stuff from what the cows produce, um, I'm quite grateful for that. I really am. The uh, farmer's market stayed open late, so they could get it all over, because they did appreciate I can't do it in one go, can I? <laughs> Still, job done now. As I say, we've got 20 grand in the bank, so that has paid for just about covered the uh, the bill for the planter, so I'm uh, just about even, as it were. So that's a good thing, I guess. And there'll always be more manure and more slurry, as long as there's cows. What a beautiful sky, though, eh? But there's no chance of me getting any field work done now this evening. We're just knocking on the door of about 8 o'clock now, so let's get back to the farm call it here for today I feel and we'll start again bright and early tomorrow morning or at least I hope it's going to be bright I haven't checked the weather report yet morning well if there's been one job that I've been looking forward to it has been getting this massive convoy with this massive tractor into my new massive field and getting the uh, getting the soil topped up with a bit of nitrogen. As I say, I'm th this was about half full, uh, but because of the large area of silty clay in the new field, I didn't want to take the risk and, and run out, so I'm topping this up here right now just to uh, make sure I've got more than enough. It's better to have too much than too little, isn't it? Especially considering how much hard work it is to move this thing around. But with the addition of my new tractor now, and then as you all know, maybe if you had watched my previous episode, you'll have known that the Magnum did cope with this relatively well over in Jack's big field. But this should breeze through it, really, shouldn't it? It really should. Right, let's see where we're up to anyway. Excellent. Right. To the field. Right, let's get these screens set right. I want to go for that one there and that one there. Excellent stuff. I ain't going to be able to hang a right right here. I will tie myself in one very big metallic knot. So I think we'll just uh, we'll go around this way. There we go. Just checking it's coming with me. <laughs> Right, to the field. Tell you what, I know it's a different tractor, don't get me wrong, this is twice the size, but the difference between this and the Magnum towing this uh, Hydra's toolbar is night and day. You could tell it was there hugely on the Magnum. There was a huge amount of rear end squat and you could you could just hear it in the engine and feel it in the gearbox. It was you could tell that there was twenty six and a bit tons being dragged behind you. But this thing with its twelve tires and million horsepower, just sheer size and grunt. You could barely even know it's there. Although this'll be the test, won't it? An incline. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. Although, thinking about it, what about the incline in the field? We've got some steep bits in that new field, haven't we? So that is going to be a real test of this thing. But, like I say, I'm sure it will be absolutely fine. Oh, look at that. Barely dropped anything there. Excellent. Here we are. Right, so I've parked up here because this is the start of our large area of silty clay. All this bit here, pretty much a few hundred metres off into the distance here, pretty much consists of some horrible, solid, nasty to work with silty clay. Uh, fortunately, the majority of the field is loam, as I say, so it's uh, it's not going to be too bad when it comes to the nitrogen and the seed, but. Uh, the main thing is I'm aware of this, so 
that's all that matters. So I'm, uh, I'm assuming this is going to drink a lot more seed and take a bit more nitrogen than I'd like it to. But, check it out. What a thing. Love it. Right, so, let's get cracking. No time like the present. The mighty Steiger. What a machine. I'm so happy with the way that's performed on this new field, especially with those big steep inclines. It didn't even bat an eyelid. What a thing. Right, anyway, so this field is now ready to receive the beans. It's a beautiful seed bed down now, thanks to that uh, cultivator stroke anhydrous toolbar. Done a wonderful job. So, What's next on the uh, job list today? Well, I need to I need to do what I was meant to be trying to do yesterday, which was going to stock up on a few thousand litres of wet cake for the cow feed. Uh, so I need to get back to the farm, uh, jump in the truck, and make a way over to Poet Commodities to pick uh, to pick that up, load up the trailer on the on the lorry there. Um, now I think the planting, as I say, I've got a few weeks ahead of me before planting season officially comes to an end for the beans, um, but I feel I can. Uh, 
now that I've got this big job done. I think I can afford to wait till tomorrow to get that done. And this will be, that, this uh, Steiger again will be our office for that uh, for that job as well. But anyway, let's get back to the farm. Pop this away in the shed. Jump in the lorry. We'll trundle over to Poet Commodities. Right, let's get this thing swung in here. I hope I've uh, come in at the right angle there. Should be about right, I think. Oh, yeah. I think I'd done this before, wouldn't you? <laughs> right. That will do just fine. So, let's get this thing disconnected. Excellent stuff. Stick this back over in the shed round here. In fact, I'll just stick it in front of the planter for now. There we go. Lovely stuff. Right. Truck. Wet cake. Let's go get some. Wait there, you. Everywhere really does look so much better when everything's been planted, eh? A beautiful sea of green. Right, here we are. Over at Poet. So we need to... Uh, Make a stop on the way bridge first. On the way in on on the way out. There we go. Let's just jump in and see him there for a moment. Right out. They've taken me weight, and they'll take another one on my way out, and I'll get charged for the difference, obviously, in wet cake. Right, let's get ourselves over to where I need to be. Right, well, that's where we want to be, underneath this auger. So, let's go for about there, I reckon. Put the cover back. And get filling up. Lovely stuff. Boom. All done. Right, let's go see what we're going to get charged for this. Let's uh, roll the cover back. And get ourselves back to the office. Right. Goodness me, that number is particularly bigger than what it was before. Let's 
let's go see what that's going to cost me, eh? Oof, well, $8,208. An expensive thing keeping these cows fed but it's got to be done because eventually what they produce i make money from the cheese that i'm uh, making over at the dairy right anyway back to the farm Right, let's get this lot tipped into the silo. There we go. I should see the cows right now for the next few months anyway. It's part of their uh, feed mixture. Wait for that to finish. I'll turn the truck off. Then I need to have a bit of a ponder as to what I'm going to do with myself for the rest of the day. Now I know I've also got the big field to plant. That is going to be the first big job for tomorrow, I feel. But what I could do with doing... It's giving everything a wash. Because I noticed earlier on that pretty much every single piece of equipment I have on the farm, including that lorry, is pretty mucky. Apart from the planter, and that was done for me. <laughs> so I think it would be pretty good of me to uh, spend the next few hours just giving everything a good once-over. Even the harvester, that hasn't been cleaned for a good few months now. And that's been sat there. I've been meaning to do that for such a long time. Do you know what, in fact... I think we might start with that. Because of all the things I do have, that's probably going to take me the longest. It's assuming the thing's going to start. Ah. There we go. It starts. <laughs> Let's move it all of 50 feet over here. As does the little tractor as well, but obviously now I've been uh, having a bit of a ponder over that thing as well, because now I've got the telehandler. Let's just lower that down a bit so I don't uh, impale myself on it while I'm washing. But yeah, now I've got the telehandler. kind of don't need the front loader equipment on this little tractor. I was thinking about it. I don't really need the little tractor, because this was pretty much what I used around the farm to lug bales about and to... Uh, to load up and fill my feed mixer with things and whatnot with a shovel, but now, now that I've got the telehandle, this thing's a bit, a bit null and void. It's a mighty little tractor. I love the thing, I must admit. I'd be a bit sad to see it go. I don't even know. I, I really don't know what to do with it. I'm thinking on my feet here at the minute, but that's something to ponder over anyway. There's no point having equipment sitting around the farm that I'm not really going to use if there's, if there's any kind of value in it. Based on how much I've been spending, I should get that back, shouldn't I? You like me harvester, though. What a thing. This is a mighty piece of equipment. Right, anyway. Less talky, more washy. There we go. Shiny ish so much better when it's clean it did take a while to get these uh, get these track mechanisms cleaned out on the corn header but looks splendid now don't you say anyway many more to go yeah look at that it's like they're all ganging up on me <laughs> and this one's armed. Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming, one at a time. You know what? 
I know it was a gratuitous waste of my time, but for the sake of a quick snapshot for the social media and all that, Project Red Farm, look at it all. Right. Well, six and a half hours? <laughs> That's how long it's taken me to get everything clean. Goodness me. It is a nice feeling, though, to have a, a whole farm of clean equipment. I've even given the JCB a good going over. The slurry tanker and the dribble bar I've got... To, well, it's in the shade now, but it was out in the sun. It's a good job it's a nice warm summer's day, because I am absolutely saturated. But yeah, I've given the, this tank and the dribble bar a good going over. I've given everything a good going over, haven't I? Apart from, the one thing I haven't done yet is the anhydrous toolbar and the tank. I think I will leave that for now, though, because, as I say, I've been going at it for hours. I did hope you liked my little photograph. I kind of thought it was worth it with all the effort I was going, th going through to get everything cleaned up. I'll try and uh, keep a memory of it in a photograph, as it were, but yeah, everything's clean. Lovely. That's what we like. So, I suppose it's now time to tidy everything up. Put it back where it belongs. Call it that, because it's uh, just up, just coming up to five o'clock now, so it's time for tea.